Good morning, YTPC. How is everybody doing today? Ghost Cobb here with a review. First, we are smoking Missouri Mearsham's Devil Ants Cuddy. It's the sitter. Got a real nice little hardwood plug in it there. If you're not familiar with these, definitely go check these out. They're a great little pipe for around 10 bucks. Um, they're great for blends like this one here today. And today we are going to be doing a review on Dunhill's Nightcap. And I say that because this one here has a lot of nicotine in it. And I am very... I'm not very sensitive to nicotine. However, this one seems to really hit me. So I, I get a little hesitant around her. So I like to smoke her in little pipes. Um... Hence why the old Devil Ants is out today, so we are. Cup of mud. Dunhill's Nightcap. It is an English blend. A ribbon cut. I will get to that in a minute. Latakia, Orientals, and Virginias are what are, are the components of this blend. Um, it is a very nice blend. So it is. It's a little wet for me. I did not let it sit. I'm an impatient man. I know. Surprise, right? An impatient man, ladies. That's a surprise. So here's the ribbon cut. It's your normal Dunhill consistency as far as ribbon cut you know Dunhill is very consistent I have to give them that um, when I take a uh, when I stick my sniffer here in the jar because we don't have a tin obviously I only get one real smell out of it burning brush it reminds me of burning big piles of brush um, now I grew up burning a lot of piles of brush you know farmers would burn their brush when I worked for them um, being in the fire department we would always go to uh, certain people's houses to help them when they would burn their brush we would take the brush truck and sit there and make sure that it didn't get out of hand on them or anything like that, you know. So that was how we had done that. But that's what that reminds me of, that tin note. The jar note there, rather. Using my UB Piper, Uncle Butter and Ghost Cobb collaboration uh, tamper today. I also got my Tennessee Bull Tamper handy. I've been known to pick it up a few times. So, just in case you see that tamper, you know what it is and who it's from. Um, smoking her. I get a little bit of like a like a campfire feel to it, earthiness. Um, and as it's fading off my palate, I get nuttiness. <coughs> Not a lot though. The earthiness is the star of the show. There's no questioning that. Earthiness is definitely in the front. Boy, that nicotine is hard, though. If you're looking for a nicotine kick, Dunhill Nightcap, folks. Woo! She'll rock you, man. Holy smokes. I'm just about midway down my bowl here. 
and it really hasn't changed much. The nuttiness is a little more than it was in the beginning of the bowl. The nuttiness has gotten a little stronger. Um, I didn't sleep well the last couple of days, folks. I apologize if I move around a lot. For those of you that do not know, I have both knees replaced and my hip and my thigh replaced. So if I'm moving around a lot, it's, it's a lot because I'm just trying to get comfortable. It's a good English blend. I do like it. Um, it's not something that I can smoke all the time. And like I had said, I really normally smoke them in little bowls. Um, I really like smoking it out of smaller uh, bowl pipes because of the nicotine hit. Um, would I recommend this blend? Absolutely. I would definitely recommend this blend to anybody. Um, would it be a first English blend? No. Definitely not a first English blend. Guys, you gotta be more careful with it than that. Um, it'll kick you in the, it'll kick you in the teeth. Uh, <laughs> that's the best way to put it, to be honest with you. Um, I would not also, I wouldn't recommend smoking it in a crowd of people. It's not something you would smoke at a fair or in amongst a big crowd. It would be a home, maybe a barbecue or something like that. You could chew on her, but uh, not something if you're looking for to smoke a, a pipe in a crowd of people and not hear many complaints. You don't want this one. Um, but that's it for uh, Dunhill's Nightcap. I would definitely suggest you give her a shot. I have not had the morning pipe yet. Um, I have to order it, uh, so until I can get it ordered or some, or you know, for some reason somebody sends me a sample or whatever, um, I'm not going to be able to do it yet. I've never smoked it. Uh, that's one blend I've never tried from Dunhill. There's quite a few that I haven't, uh, but they have a lot of great English blends. Aberdiff is one of my one of my favorites. I really like it, and I like the Nightcap. It's just I have to smoke this one in small increments because of that nicotine, man. It'll just kick you right in the teeth. So, well, so that's my review on Dunhill Nightcap. I hope it helps you guys out. Um, going to do a couple shout-outs here at the end. And I am going to shout out Hill Billy. Yes, that's H-I-L-L Billy. I'm going to shout out Ronin. Piper, R-O-N-I-N, Piper, and Stogie Pipe Smoker, Stogie Pipe Smoker, and last but certainly not least today, folks, Blind Faith. Folks, if you have not watched this young lady, she is every bit of the word inspirational. This young lady is real mccoy piper's daughter she was born blind and she just shows a lot of things on how she maneuvers on things being blind um you know this woman is this young lady is very very inspirational and her faith is amazing. Her faith is addicting. So, um, if you have not had a chance to check those guys out, please check them out. Once again, Hillbilly, Ronan Piper, Stogie Pipe Smoker, and Blind Faith. Guys, check them out. Give them a sub. They're great folks. They're all newbies. They're all under 100 subs. Let's help them out. Let's give them some love. Show them what the YTPC is all about. Guys, until we can get together and pack a pipe or light that great cigar, let all that you do be done out of love. Y'all take care and God bless.